Kia ora, ko Sharon Holt, dōko ingoa. Today I thought I'd let you know some of the um, more unusual feelings that you can talk about in te reo. So the word for feelings is ngā kare a roto, feelings, as you'll see at the top there. So this is a page from our picture dictionary. And um, if you already have this one, you'll know that there's an app which you put at that little symbol beside that heading, and it will have me pronouncing these but you can also do it on this page as well. So the sentence for this one is kei te something or other aho and that means how I'm feeling, I am whatever I'm feeling. Or you can say e ana aho. So that's a different way of saying how you're feeling. So somebody will ask you kei te pē here kwe or kei te pē fia kwe or e pē fia ana kwe or e pē he ana kwe. So they'll say that, and then you want to have some replies. So you decide whether you're going to say kei te or e something ana. So here's all the options. I'll just pronounce them for you, and I'll do kei te. We'll go from the top, and we'll go across the lines. Kei te pai aho. Kei te tino pai aho. Kei te puku mahi aho. Kei te wera aho. Kei te ohorere ahau, kei te makariri ahau. Hear the difference between the re re and the ri ri there, because the e re re and i ri ri. Kei te hari ahau, kei te ngenge ahau, kei te ngenge ahau. Now for fed up at the beginning of the third line, kei te hoha ahau. Notice the macrons there. So ho, ha, are both, um, the vowels are both said a bit longer. And here's one with the beginning vowel that's a bit longer. I, your, calm. Kei te I, your, aho. Kei te hia kai, aho. Kei te hia inu, aho. So that's hungry and thirsty. So here is wanting something, and that's wanting kai. And here, inu is wanting drink. So don't be worried about those three vowels in the middle of here, inu. Just pronounce each of them separately. He, a, i, nu. Here, inu. Kei te pauri, aho. I'm sad. Kei te mauiwi, aho. Kei te mauiwi, aho. Kei te manaho. Excited. Kei te manaho, aho. Kei te pukuriri aho, kei te whakamā aho, kei te a mai mai aho, kei te mā nuka nuka aho, kei te mā mataku, mataku, kei te mataku aho. So there's some extra feelings that you could add to your usage and when people ask you how you are, even if they ask you in English, you could reply in te reo. Kakite.